Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. In this video, we are going to talk about the different types of data connections that are available within Tableau. So the, the moment we've connected to any data source in Tableau, uh, we will be navigated to the data source connection page. Now here, as you can see on the top right corner, we have an option to choose between live and an extract connection. So by default, the data source that we've connected would be connected in a live connection. But in case if we wish to change that from live to an extract or vice versa, we would need to uh, select it from this option. Or you can also go to the direct uh, worksheet level and convert that connection type from a live to an extract. So in this video, we will be looking at the different types of data connections like live and extract and uh, what are the differences between both these uh, connections and when do we need to use each of them and the importance of these two connections. So without any delay, let's dive into this particular topic. So as you can see in this pictorial representation, the first section that we see here is about the live connection. So typically when we say that it's connected in a live connection, which means that the data source and Tableau both are connected in a live connection, there is always a live communication path being established. So a live communication path is nothing but whatever changes have been uh, made within your data source, those changes have been reflected directly without any delay uh, in your Tableau workbook or in your Tableau uh, dashboards directly. So that is meant by a live communication path. Now, on the other side, to look into the extract connection in Tableau, we have a mechanism here. So let's try to understand this particular diagram. So we have the original data source and on top of this data source, we would like to create an extract connection within Tableau. Now, the moment we choose the connection as an extract, Tableau would then uh, take a copy or a snapshot of that particular data from the original data source. And this copy snapshot would then be saved as a .td or a .hyper file within the hyper data engine. Now, from there onwards, whenever Tableau tries to communicate to the data source, it will not connect to the original data source, but rather, a connection is being established between this local file that the TDE file has been located. So since this file is located on your machine where the Tableau desktop is also running, the latency is highly improved and also the performance of the dashboard is also quite improved. So therefore, extract connection on this says is that uh, Tableau will not communicate or connect to the original data source, but rather to the local snapshot copy that is saved within the Tableau repository. But in case if you would like to update the data based on the data updates that might happen within your original data source, we would have to create a schedule or update this refresh mechanism on the published workbook on the Tableau server. So let's try to uh, look into these uh, uh, considerations by looking into a practical uh, demonstration. So I will go to a new worksheet and uh, let me try to connect to a, a data set which I've created within an Excel file so that it's easier for us to understand both these concepts in a real time. So for that, I will click on this new data source and select this Excel as a connector. And I would navigate to my file where this has been located. So I have this file named as data connections and I will select this file and click on open. So now you can observe that within my file, I have two different columns named as product and sales and the corresponding data with respect to those columns. Now, as I said, by default, the connection is always uh, made in a live connection. Now, let me try to uh, explain the differences between a live and extract. So let's try to understand first the live connection. So in this case, I will first navigate to my sheet and i'll try to build a whiz around this particular data so i have my product and sales probably i'll swap the uh, row and column and enable my mark labels now we can see that uh, there are three different products labeled as a b and c and their corresponding sales associated now let's try to make some changes with respect to my file and see how the data has been reflected within this particular worksheet so for that i'll go back to my uh, 
excel file so i'll try to access to this data connections and i'll try to update a new record here so with a new product called d and call this product with a sales of 80 let's say and now i'll try to save this file and uh, close it off now i'll try to update this data within my chart to populate with those changes that I have made in my data source. So in order to make those changes being reflected directly on your uh, worksheet level within your Tableau desktop, we would have to enable or make another option enabled called refresh. So we would have to refresh this data source to have the data being reflected on the corresponding chart that we've created. I know that you might have a question like, okay, uh, I did mention earlier that when we say that it is a live connection, there is always a live communication path being established between your Tableau and your data source. But in this case, if you observe that I said um, the instead of the data being uh, reflected directly on my chart, I would have to do a refresh on top of my data source. So the reason behind this is that since this has still been uh, uh, made or uh, it's still in the development phase on my dev uh, Tableau desktop environment itself, we would have to enable this refresh mechanism directly like on top of your connection. But once this dashboard has been published on the Tableau server, you need not do any refresh for your live connections because then your Tableau server and the original data source would both be talking to each other on a regular interval. So therefore, there the refresh is no longer required. But for this particular uh, requirement, uh, let's try to go ahead and refresh the data source and see where this option is also located. So I will come back to this data pane here on the top left corner and we can notice that currently there are two different data connections being available. One is the sheet one, the other one is the superstore. And you can also see a small blue tick mark next to my sheet one uh, resembling that using the sheet one data source, I have built this particular chart here. So now I'll try to refresh this by right clicking on this sheet one data source and go to this first refresh option that I see below the edit data source option. Now if you observe the moment I click on refresh the data is automatically updated in my respective chart. So this is about the live connection. Now let's try to understand the other raw data connection which is the extract connection. So for that uh, let's try to convert this live into an extract connection. So how do you convert this live to an extract? There are two possibilities. One is that you can directly convert it from the worksheet level by right clicking on this particular data source and selecting this option as extract data or you can go back to the data source page and select the connection from live to an extract. So in either of these two situations, the expected resultant is still the same. However, let me do this directly from the worksheet level since I'm already at the sheet level. Okay, so I'll uh, right click on my data source and say extract data. Now the moment I hit on extract data, a new pop-up window has been displayed for my uh, view to select the options that is needed for my extract connection. So as you notice here, I have the data storage being uh, classified between logical tables and physical tables and physical tables is currently being grayed out because I have not used any, uh, like I have not used multiple tables brought onto my canvas. So at present, I only have one single uh, sheet or one particular table being added up on my canvas and therefore it is at my logical table view okay and below that you also have an option to add some filters or on your extract data so in case if you'd like to restrict some data being flown into tableau then you can just allow that filters being added up at the extract level itself and then we can also aggregate the data to ensure that uh, you uh, like based on how your reporting requirements are there if you no longer need to have the data being set under different granularity you can aggregate those data to ensure that the uh, performance has been improved and also you uh, reduce the file size as well okay and then below that you also see other option like number of rows so by default this is um this is selected as all rows, ensuring that all the rows that are existing in my source have been 
populated within my Tableau workbook. But in case if you like to uh, bring in only the top uh, few records or uh, sample records, you can always uh, choose among these three different options. So you can select top and uh, specify the table from where you'd like to bring the top records and mention the number of rows that you'd like to bring them up in within Tableau. So these two options are uh, quite crucial in case if you're working on a very large volume data or a, a huge volume of data that has millions and billions of records and that would essentially take a lot of time to query into Tableau, right? So in those situations when you are trying to uh, bring in some ad hoc reporting within Tableau, you can just choose between top or sample and bring just a couple of uh, rows of data within Tableau to understand what the data is looking like. And maybe you can just build some uh, um, ad hoc reports that is needed for your business uh, glance. So these are the other options. Now for this particular demo purpose, let's just select the default selections as is. I'm not uh, selecting any other or I'm not making any other changes and I'll just hit on extract. So now once I hit on extract, Tableau would give me a pop-up window which would allow me to uh, specify the location where this extract file has to be stored so if you remember in my uh, 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 data connections or uh, that image that i've created so if you notice over uh, the moment i uh, specify the connection from a live to an extract tableau would take a copy or a snapshot of my data from the original data source and save that as a dot td or a dot hyper file within my repository so therefore you can see the file extension as dot hyper here and it is asking you to locate the location where you would like to save this snapshot file so i will just leave the default uh, location like uh, within my tableau repository and data sources folders i would leave here the same uh, path as is and hit on save now as soon as i hit on save you can notice that the icon representation next to my sheet one data source has now been transformed from a plain cylinder icon to a overlapping cylinder icon notice so this indicates that the connection has now been transformed from a live to an extract connection and this would also help you to uh, uh, like uh, differentiate how your connections have been established so on the other side for the superstore data set it is still in a plain cylinder icon which is resembling that it is connected in a live connection so this is how you would be able to differentiate if the particular data source is connected in a live or in a extract connection okay so understand live means a plain cylinder but if it's an extract connection you would see a overlapping cylinder icon and the blue tick mark against to those data sources would indicate that using that particular data source you have built that particular report in that sh uh, sheet uh, in that corresponding worksheet okay so now that we have connected in on extract connection let's go back to the excel sheet and make some changes within my data set so for that again i'll open my data and uh, let's try to remove both my c and d uh, records and save this file and close this file again now come back to tableau now now that we know that in order to make the changes being appended within my sheet uh, report you would have to do the refresh mechanism now for uh, live connection we know that we've used this refresh that is available on the top but for an extract we cannot use this option but rather we would have to navigate to the extract and within the extract section, we would have to choose this refresh option. Now, let me select this refresh now. And uh, you can see that there is a warning icon being populated asking us, are you sure that you would like to replace this uh, uh, extract with a full refresh? And uh, by modifying that, you might need, uh, you might see some data being lost as part of the extract refresh right so you can just read through this particular uh, message here and it is asking us for a confirmation if you would like to proceed with the extract refresh now let's try to pause a while here and understand why this warning has been populated here and why is it important for us to look into that particular message and understand it okay so 
In order to refresh an extract within Tableau, there are two different ways of how we can refresh the extract. One is the incremental refresh, the other one is the full refresh. By default, Tableau would consider the full refresh to happen on the extract connection. So full refresh means uh, whatever copy file, whatever snapshot that has been saved within the local repository as a dot hyper file, the entire data would be uh, removed or deleted and it would again go back to the original data source and take the entire data set as a copy and save that as a new file within that corresponding location. So when you especially deal with a huge volume of data, this uh, deletion and replacement of the entire data might take a couple of seconds or minutes. And therefore, you might need to understand the difference between a full refresh and an incremental refresh in those scenarios. Okay. So whereas in an incremental refresh, it would only bring in the newly added uh, data within your uh, uh, reports. So which means that Let's say that I have A, B, C uh, products until yesterday. And today, if I have added a new product called D, then it will, Tableau will not touch the previously existing data like A, B, C products data, but it will only look for the new product that is introduced today by today's date. And it will append this newly added data along with my previously existing data within my Tableau uh, report. Okay, so incremental refresh could be uh, beneficial at times, but at the same time, we might also need to look into uh, how the data has been updated in the backend. So for instance, uh, let's say that instead of having the same ABC products uh, until today, if uh, today if I have made the previous records like from ABC to like uh, let's say for B there is like sales of 200 value now if I try update this value from 200 to let's say 150 or 250 perhaps by enabling the incremental refresh whatever changes that might uh, go within my previous records Tableau will not touch those previous records but just it will reference to the uh, newly added data that is uh, there for today and it will only bring in that new data but it will not update or correct the data that has happened for my prior day records so therefore we would need to talk to the ETL person and understand which refresh would best suit for that particular reporting requirement and accordingly you might need to take a call on whether it has to be a full refresh or an incremental refresh so let's try to continue on this particular full refresh and now you can see that the changes have been reflected within my Tableau report. So this is all about the different types of data connections in Tableau with respect to live and an extract and when uh, you can use the live and an extract. So on a lighter note, let me give you a recap of when uh, when it is beneficial to go with a live and an extract. So let's say that you will uh, you are working on a stock exchange data, and you are most likely to see the data updates on a frequent basis. So in those situations, it is highly recommended to go with a live connection rather than an extract connection. On the other side, if your data source that you have connected to or that you might need to work on is a very slow performing database, then it is highly uh, suggested to go with an extract connection because then your performance would be highly improved. Okay, and also when your data, uh, like uh, when there is a latency issue with respect to your data source and that you uh, can noticeably observe the late, uh, the performance of your dashboard you can just uh, trial and error with both these connections types to observe how the performance pattern has been improvised or decreased in both the ways so in that way you would be able to call upon which sort of a connection would best fit into that particular reporting requirement so this is all about the different types of data connections in Tableau. So I hope this video has helped you now to clarify between these two types and you are able to uh, uh, choose between these two connections in your next project easily. So if you do like this video, please do give a like and uh, please do leave a th comment within my comment section. Thank you.